Today on the show, we have the incredible princess of the West Side, Stacy White. Stacy, your tree is amazing. Oh, thank you. Amazon. Wait, is that real? Oh, Amazon. Uh, no, it's the first time I've actually done an artificial tree. Usually we get a real one, and this year we decided to change it up. So, Amazon. It is on yeah. point. I love a flat tree. <laughs> thank you. Messy. Thank you. <laughs> that, that, well, I'm so glad you could join us. What, uh, we call you the princess of the West Side. How's it going? Wow, what a title. Right? Um, <laughs> Thank you. Know, you. I'm so young. Well, how's, it, <laughs> how's it going over there on the West Side for you? Really great. Um, super busy. Um, obviously, rates are low. Um, properties are booming. We've been really, really busy, which I feel extremely fortunate about with everything that's happened. Um, weren't sure how things were going to go when the first pandemic, you know, when it first happened, but it's been uh, really, really amazing. So I feel really grateful and blessed. The comment section says she's the queen of the West Side. I, I prefer oh, princess. You know what? I don't know. I kind of like princess too. It yeah, sounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take either at this point. How about that? <laughs> how long have you been with Compass, Stacey? I've been with Compass just a little over two years now. Incredible. So, it seems like, are you a mom? Because that those those decorations are on point. Yeah, I know, right? Um, I am a mom of two amazing boys, um, Hudson and Dalton. Uh, single, single mom, actually. Um, so, yeah. And then we just recently uh, got a golden retriever puppy named Winston. So I've got three boys. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love all those names. And a new puppy at Christmas. That's a Yeah. Christmas yeah. Well, before we go on to your incredible listings that I'm so excited to share with the audience, I want you to give us your uh, last word on 2020. How, what, if you could sum up 2020 this year in one word, Stacey, what would that word be? I would say acceptance. Um, acceptance. I think that we've all gone through so much, you know, and this journey with, with COVID and so many changes and how to sort of maneuver through everything and being away from family and connection. And I think at some point, you know, we just have to accept what is um, and be present, which is very difficult, but I constantly try to remind myself to do that. Yeah. Um, so I think that would be the word for 2020 for me. Acceptance, I love it. If you're just joining us, we're speaking with Stacy White, the princess of the West Side, and you're watching Real Talk. Stacy, you're gonna take us into your listings, which I'm so excited about. This Great. first one, on Anita, and the audience is gonna guess the price. It's 135 North Anita Avenue, six bedrooms, nine bathrooms. Pay attention, people, because if you get the price correct, you will win Everyday Essence Skincare. Ooh. A little over 6,000 square feet. Take us inside, Stacey. What's so, special? what's amazing about the house, first of all, is just the lot. It's almost an 11,000 square foot lot, brand new, traditional Cape Cod, really high ceilings, 20 foot ceilings. Um, it's pretty much loaded. Um, and again, just having just the quality of the brand new construction and the square footage and obviously prime location of Brownwood on Anita. Beautiful open space, amazing lighting. Incredible schools. It make great schools, great schools as well. I think that's why people move to Brentwood, don't you? Brentwood and Santa Monica. Santa mm -hmm. Monica is definitely for a school district. Um, yeah, you're paying for location. Um, there's exactly. a great community. I love this bathroom. Yeah, great. And it's just uh, very open and bright throughout the entire home. It's really gorgeous. Is that the style you think people mostly buy in Brentwood? Because I see a lot of new homes go up in most of what we do um, is new construction, and the typical build is traditional Cape Cod or the modern farmhouse. It's what people really love are the traditionals in the modern farmhouse. Sometimes there's a modern here and there, like with Hillside, um, but people really love um, the white traditional and the, mo and the modern farmhouse look. And what kind of... Uh buyers are you seeing come through this listing or what interest are you getting so far so this was actually um a sold listing um that we that we sold um maybe four months ago so on this particular one a lot of the buyers that came through are people looking like you said for for location in terms of schools um families obviously um and there were quite a few people that came to this home that were interested so so audience this listing has sold and you need to guess the sale price, twist. Um, so that is a twist, wow. It sold for this price that we're gonna show. Are you saying it sold, Stacey? Oh, yeah, it sold, it sold, oh, yes, yeah. 
Yeah. (laughs) They're guessing the sales, the sold price. What did this house, which is on Anita, six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, a little over 6,000 square feet, sell for agents who are watching? I love that. So uh, what do we have? uh, we're, we'll do, we'll see the comment section will weigh in. There's a 30 second delay. Okay. <laughs> Are, do you only work in Brentwood or Santa, Santa Monica, Monica, Brentwood, Palisades, sometimes Beverly Hills here and there, but mostly Santa Monica and Brentwood and Palisades. And who's an agent that you haven't worked with yet that you would like to work with? Who am I not worked that I'd like to work with? Um, you know what? Sally Forrester Jones, I've never worked with. We've crossed each other's paths quite a bit, um, but I've never done a transaction with her. And, oh, and oh, I can see you guys. She's amazing. Friends. Oh, we've got, a, we've got one guest from David J. Jimenez, $7 million. We've got a $15 million from M. Oh, Alloy. Okay. One, two, three. With the, this the, the top one's close. Okay, we're going to give it to David so we can move on. He watches the show every day. It is $8 million. Congratulations, Stacey. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. That's wonderful. So, Stacey, what do you do when you make a big sale? How do you celebrate? How do I celebrate? Mm-hmm. Well, it's been tricky with the situation with the COVID. <laughs> um, normally, I would try to do something special with my boys, um, take a vacation somewhere, um, even if That's I'm celebrating it. in like a small way of like now going to dinner when we could. Um, yeah. But I do like to, we, we have a little thing where we try to go on a vacation somewhere new once a year. That's so That's nice. Good. I tell people they should all go have like a weekend getaway or something at least every quarter. Absolutely. Um, let's move on. Speaking of holidays, we're going to play Coal in Your Stocking, Stacey, where you tell us what is the worst gift you've ever received? Oh, God. Oh, my God. The worst gift I've ever received. Um, Oh, gosh. (laughs) That's tough. Is that a tough? I know right off the top of my head. Oh, no, that's tough. Um, Are you, what is a lame gift to give? Maybe like. A lot of people weigh in on that, too. (laughs) Like, maybe the white elephant gift. (laughs) I, I got a rat in a jar one year for one year. A what? A real rat in a de- was dead in a uh-uh. jar. No yeah. way. Who gave yeah. you that? Our family does white elephant every year, and that, that rat. That's bad. They re- wow. Rat. Wow. I haven't had that happen, but I'd say white <laughs> elephant. <laughs> white elephant. What about dear Santa? What is your dear Santa this year? What is one wish you're hoping to get, Stacy? So well, I mean, I, I say like dear Santa. Dear Santa, I would like to get out of Los Angeles with my two kids <laughs> and go to the Amalfi Coast. Thank you, Santa. Are you listening? <laughs> well, maybe if you sell this next property at 330 21st Place in Santa Monica, six bedroom, eight bath, you'll be able to go to the Amalfi Coast. It's almost 8,000 square feet, just shy of it. And audience, you're going to guess the price. Uh, I love this one, by the way. So Beautiful. Stunning. So beautiful. Look at it. What would you call this? Modern farm. So this would be, um, tr- this is traditional Cape Cod, but he added a little bit of touch of the modern farmhouse, um, the finishes with the brass and, um, but definitely like the open floor plan. Um, one thing this builder does, which is really amazing is he adds this really incredible skylight, which brings some mm-hmm. light into the home. Um, it's a little over 7,900 square feet. Um, and actually we did sell this one. So maybe I what, can- What, this one is sold too? Okay, so audience, you're gonna guess the sale price. That's right. The sold price of the listing. When did you sell this one? We sold this, this was a, this hit the market right before COVID and we actually sold it during COVID. So a few months ago, which was amazing. Um, Cause again, we weren't sure how things were gonna go. Um, but this was north of Montana, prime location in the Gillette Square, um, and again, brand new construction. Incredible. Thank what, you. How long did it take to sell in COVID? 30 days, 90 days? This one took, it, it took a little, it was maybe three months. Uh, we were on the market right before COVID. We had this incredible party, which was amazing that I look back on that now that we were able to do that because there's no open houses now or anything. And had this incredible party with a jazz musician and, and had a lot of activity. Then COVID hit and we weren't able to show anything. 
Um, and I believe we sold it just a, just a few months into COVID. Where did the lead, where did the buyer, where did they come from? Did they come buyer from came from this, uh, the north of Montana, Montana location um, in a different home. And they wanted to stay in the area, but they wanted to upgrade with their family to more square footage and brand new build. It's always the neighbors. We have some guests. I know. A seven million from PM Bruni. Um, oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Reveal the price. Uh, a seven million from PM Bruni. Featured properties gave us eight point six. Mahedish thirteen said eight point four, and Adidas Nike said. Wow. 8. We're gonna give it. Those to, are good guesses. We're gonna give it to featured properties. Let me pin the comment here because the price. Wow. Is 8. 8. 9. 9. Closest without going. So over. close. Featured properties, go ahead and DM us so that you can open oh, your. Uh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, so that you can get your everyday essence skincare. I had a little <laughs> iPad fell down. It's okay. <laughs> it happens, right? <laughs> so, Stacy, uh, if you guys are just joining us, we're speaking with the princess of the West Side, Stacy White. Stacy, how do you keep up your team? Uh, uh, kind of like rapport right now and, and spirits? What do you do to kind of help your team through everything? Great question. Um, I think the most important thing right now is trying to stay connected because um, obviously we're in a Zoom world and, you know, we're not, it's, it's tricky. So with my team and I, we are in constant communication every day, whether we're meeting at my house um, or the office and obviously wearing masks, <laughs> but we really, it, it's all about just keeping the communication going, um, keeping just a focus basically, making sure that we're getting to our lips, making sure that we're on top of things, even in this crazy world. And I think um, the one thing we all have is that we really are close um, and we keep that communication going, which I think is number one, just talking. I, that is the exact same thing that Linda May said on the show yesterday was just communication and reaching out to clients and having that, just picking up the phone and just checking yeah. in with people has been uh, very key for her and her team as well. That's so funny you say that. No, it's really important and, 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 and it's doable. We're very connected and we find ways around it. And I think that's part of what this has taught us is just how to maneuver um, and still get things done and still be successful and, and uh, definitely stay connected. Well, speaking of staying connected and pivots, before we go, that's our show. We just want you to give us one word of your of intention for 2021. What's your one word of intention for 2021, Stacy, going into another year? Positivity. 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 Absolutely. We get you very far. <laughs> Being positive, you know, staying focused, um, having perspective with 2020. But I think, yeah, just being positive and um, being present and um, just knowing that, you know, everything happens for a reason. Trust the process is what we always try to say on my team is trust the process. Oh, my God. That's so funny because when we were allowed to sell, um, sorry, host parties, we had a neon artist do this big party and she installed this neon sign and it said, trust the trust process. The process. I, I, have it, I have it written, it's kind of cheesy, but I have it written on my computer and I look at it every day. No, that's not little, cheesy at all. Huh? That's not cheesy at all. I look at it every day and then there's a little note from my boys that say, good luck mommy, on the top of it, so. <laughs> Stacy, you're pulling on my heartstrings today. Aw. So sweet. Well, I hope you and your boys have a wonderful holiday. Thank you for coming on the show. The Princess of the West Side here with us, Stacy White. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, Glad absolutely. Go kill it, Stacy. Thank you. Happy holidays. Bye-bye. Thank you, too. Bye. I loved her. I love Stacy White and all of her positivity, all of her insights. Thank you for joining us. It is Friday, so we'll be back next week with an insane lineup. We've got... Ben Bellock from the agency. Josh Flagg is coming on the show. Ryan Serhant from New York is coming on the show. We've got a mega lineup next week. Tomer Friedman and more. So be sure to join us at 1111 Live or you can catch old episodes, past episodes on our IGTV. I'm Alexandra Ali. Thank you again for tuning in and keeping it.